if someone were to walk into this community and they say, hey, I'm looking for, for the high school, and the response is, well, what part are you looking for? Some people say it's like a spider web. Others, a kaleidoscope. But I like to think about it like it's connecting the dots. Columbus is about partnership. Seeing different people come together for things that they care about, but in different spaces. The entire community is a place of learning. It might look like kids chasing chickens at lunch. We're at Watkins Middle School. We started this food forest three years ago now. The students are the ones who help to plant things, maintain things, harvest things, weigh things, get things from the food forest into the cafeteria. Or a young girl learning how to fix her car before most of us have had coffee. I like being here because I want to fix my car instead of relying on somebody else. or on Halloween learning how to diagnose an illness with pumpkin pathology. So how old is this patient now? It's a baby. What they're doing is undeniable. Kids are deeply engaged. That engagement lends itself to a depth of knowledge that it, it goes far beyond any test that we could give a student to assess what they're learning. I've learned that I have the power to steer my own life and I'm not gonna sit back where I know I can speak up. Ohio is really at the center of an education revolution. The people really are embracing innovation and change everywhere we look. To get districts to collaborate is monumental. It takes, you know, partnering with some of these outside organizations to come in and kind of coach up your staff and to be able to teach in a way that's going to help prepare kids for jobs that don't even exist yet. In conversation with PAST, it became clear really quickly that they could be the boots on the ground in terms of actually implementing the learner-centered ecosystem approach that we were interested in cultivating. When you take these great industries, these leaders, and you take this amazing work that the state is doing, you then have these partners that come to play. We started building this after-school program as a way to give back in a more sustainable way. They both smell like OK Soap. It smells like flowers. I think that it smells like my dad. Which category would you guys put this in? What words were you guys saying when you were describing it? Our goal is to create the next generation. I would love one day to hire some new person for a shot of school that talks about how they were a part of the past program. We're working closely with the PASS Foundation on a couple of innovative pathways where students are experiencing early IT, so information technology type of credentials and college credit, and even have the option to graduate with their associate's degree before they graduate high school. The opportunity of being on campus not only just helps me learn what college classes consist of, but also it's an entirely different environment from high school. It just shows me like I can grow no matter the circumstance. Whatever this thing is, it's just making people more curious about their learning journey. All of this together is what we call a learner-centered ecosystem.